No, no, people. Together we will stand, every boy, girl, woman, and a man. Oh, sorry. Oh, I was right, just uh, <laughs> listening to playing about there a little bit, uh, listening to a bit of music. Uh, music's really important to me, and uh, it forms a major part of the decision-making process when I'm editing a movie or making a movie, because for me, the music comes first. I watched a documentary on uh, Lennon and McCartney a little while back, and I was fascinated to see, you know, with the questions of, do you write the song music? Uh, song words first or do you write the music first and they're both very very different in the way they approach their music uh, writing and I guess it's exactly the same with us filmmakers really we all do things a little bit different and I guess my mind works differently to other people and that's not the first time that's been said I can say uh, but anyway um, particularly with drones where music forms such an important part quite often the music comes first and I end up doing shots specifically to match the kind of music that I've got in my mind because when I listen to music I actually see pictures I don't know whether everybody does that or whether it's just me or whether I'm just a bit weird. But again, that's not the first time somebody said that. Um, but what I want to do is I want to... It doesn't always work like that, by the way. So, But what I want to do is I want to uh, have a look at the my thought processes around the decisions that I made when I was making Middleton Hall. And uh, some of the decisions were uh, very strongly based on the music and the idea of what I wanted to see based on this particular piece of music that I liked. So we'll have a look at that and uh, see where we go from there. So as I say, music is really important to me and um, the, uh, the places that I get my music from are uh, quite limited because I know uh, the, the type of music I like and the type of sites uh, that will have that type of music. And my favourite one is uh, is this one, which is Audio Machine, which has a really wide variety of what I would call um, quite dramatic music. As you can see, the uh, the the site is uh, quite comprehensive, and there's uh, there's albums at the top, and you can choose an album and go through an album. So if you've got a favourite artist, you can do that. And there's uh, certainly plenty to choose from. Um, or you can just go down the tracks that are that, that come up and uh, and play these. I'm interested in the wave shape as much as anything else. And also the attributes of the actual song itself. I mean, you can do some searches on the uh, left-hand side uh, with regards to attributes. Uh, so if you want something that's got like piano, predominantly piano, or it's uh, fast or it's dramatic or whatever, you can filter it like that. Or as I say, you can just uh, uh, choose one from an album. So I'm on this site all the while listening to lots and lots of different uh, uh, songs. And I eventually come up with a song called Wars of Faith. So uh, I didn't search for it that way, I just found it and listened to it and uh, had a look at it. And you can see that some of them have got different versions of, so some with no uh, no, lo uh, no vocals and some with no choir. Or the one I particularly liked was the one that had got both vocals and the choir. So I had a look at that and as you can see at the bottom, you get that lovely wave form. So the way I uh, audition music is, I'll, I'll shush it along a little bit, as you can see here, the. There's a nice building piece of uh, tension going on. So I already like this. So I want to take it towards that uh, reprise section or that dip in volume section because that looks a bit dramatic and I want to know what that is. So I'll listen to that while it goes down. And now as it, as it comes back up, I can hear that already suggests to me something really dramatic where, with the drone that I need to shoot that with. There's another one of those at the end, so I'll probably just skip to the end. And uh, yeah, that sounds fantastic to me. And if I'm honest with you, I'm already I'm already sold on this song. And uh, all I need to do now is really have a think about going to the sites. Uh, the um, 
and putting it in my basket and going and uh, finding out uh, what the price of the license is. And all you do then, really speaking, is just choose uh, which version you want and then uh, you choose which particular license you want to download. Uh, because obviously paying for your music is a very important part of uh, being a filmmaker, making sure we've got the right licenses, etc. A wise editor once told me that if you don't have three copies of something then it doesn't exist. For that reason I saved my projects in three different places. The first one of those is current projects which kind of speaks for itself really. Then we have an external drive which is a Slater drive and the top one which is long term storage is Robin Slater Films. If we look inside the current projects folder you'll see each project has its own folder. All the resources for that project need to be kept in that one place because this will later be linked with Premiere Pro. And the reason why this is really important is if all the folders, uh, all your files are kept in one place then the management of those files will be far more professional and Premiere Pro will always be able to find them. Okay, so if we jump straight into uh, Premiere Pro, you can see I've already uploaded the music track and we've just got the music track only at the moment. Uh, I'll just make that a little bit bigger for you so it's easier to see. Oh, a bit much. Now the actual shape of the waveform is really important and this gives me the cues so there's lots of decisions that it influenced, but uh, there's two I want to use to illustrate. And this is the first one. So this is uh, low and dramatic building music and uh, seems ideal for me to be uh, sort of uh, a slider shot would be perfect here. The other one that uh, I want you to listen to is this uh, first reprieve. So listen to the music after it restarts. So that's um, the uh, the reprise, a really dramatic change in the music. We have the uh, the uh, lyrics, and we also have the chorus kick in, and it's uh, very dramatic. And uh, it's really important that we match the dramatic music with some dramatic flying. So, like I say, there's lots of different decisions. The uh, the waveform uh, influenced me on. These are just two that I'm going to use to illustrate. And, uh, and this is the solution that I came up with. So anyway, that's what goes through my head when the music dictates the physical production of the video. This is just the way I work occasionally and obviously not everybody works in the same way. Like I said, it's not the first time anybody's told me that my brain works in different ways, you know what I mean? Uh, but anyway, it did on this particular case. But um, anyway, I've got to finish my, my high-level singing lessons now, so uh, if you wouldn't mind sodding off, I've got to uh, carry on. So it's two or three minutes, two or three hours. What does it matter in this life?